Hi, Photo Party Upload users. In this tutorial video, we're going to look at creating a basic event with social media capabilities and printing. Now, there's a lot of bells and whistles you can add in Event Manager. For this tutorial, we're going to skip a lot of the options and we're just going to look at the basics. So let's go down to the bottom of our events here and I'm going to click on Create New Event. For the event date, we'll put in tomorrow. And bear in mind, the event will be unavailable 30 hours after the end date. So if you're doing a multi-day event, make sure you put in the last day of your event. We always want to leave Sync with Helper checked. Event name, we'll put Test. And the rest of these I'll fill in according to the city and location I'm in. Now I'm going to select the services I want to include in my event. So we'll select Facebook. This gives me a number of different options I can use. I can upload to an album a wall message, or an album and a wall message. If you're uploading to only a wall message, you do need to use unique URL. If you're uploading to an album and a wall message, we can disable unique URL. I'm going to do this option for now. We will get into unique URL later in a different tutorial. Let's enable Twitter, Instagram, email, and printing. I'm going to skip SMS texting because you do need to create a Twilio account with that and we're going to cover that in a later tutorial. I'm going to leave these options unchecked for now and we can leave collect user data checked. Now as you can see here there are a lot of extras you can add into your event. I'm going to leave all these unchecked but I am going to load a portrait overlay and a landscape overlay. So We'll select our portrait overlay. Here we are. And these need to be PNG files and they're going to be transparent where I want the photo to show through. Now we don't need to load overlay files especially if you're using Photo Booth Upload or another Photo Booth program that applies the overlay on the front end. But this is particularly helpful if you're doing a simple activation where you have maybe a DSLR that's tethered to a laptop and then you're pushing photos wirelessly to tablets and you want to include an overlay there. This next page is where we put in our social media defaults. So we'll name this test event. And below that you can enable Facebook photo tagging or we can deselect it if we want to speed up the process of sharing the photos on Facebook. So I'll name this check out my photos from the blank event. I like to use that as a default setting. And I'm just going to load this into all my Twitter, Instagram, and email defaults. For your from address for email, you want to make sure this is a real address and the subject, I'm just going to change my to your since this is something that's going to be going to the guest not something that the guest friends are going to be seeing on social media. We can increase the size of our font here and you have a lot of options here as far as where you want the text to go if it's in the header, the image text, or the footer and what you can do with that text and HTML. Custom mail server we'll get into later. Now make sure you read over the terms and conditions here and then when you're done with that, you can hit Accept. That'll redirect me to the main page for Event Manager for my account. And we see down here we have Test Event, which we've just created. And if I log into the Helper app for my account and refresh Events, this event will pop up and it'll be ready to use. So that's the most basic way to create an event. Again, we'll get into all the particulars in other tutorials. Hope that was helpful and thanks for watching. Bye.